So I'm joined now by Ulster Town boss Aaron Blackwood following today's 3-1 victory over Hampton. Aaron, quite an eventful end to the game and for the second successive week running, a late winner, or winners in this case. Yeah. Just how do you reflect on today? Um, collectively, first half it wasn't good enough. Uh, we spoke to the boys that half time. Um, Hampton are a good side, they've lost one in ten I believe um, up until today. Um, so we knew it weren't going to be an easy game going into it. Um, it was just second uh, second half it was we questioned the lads character we we pointed fingers at half time um some of them had their hands up some of them were quiet but but the reality is the second half was much much improved than they had to be so yeah obviously went behind in the fifth minute quite a disappointing way to to go behind poor clearance and then the lads deflected into the bottom corner what was your take on that and how disappointed was you personally with the nature of that goal conceded yeah we've we've spoke over the past few weeks about how resilient we've become as a side, as a back line. We've started deep in clean sheets and, and become hard to beat. Um, it's a poor goal to concede, especially so early on. Um, the lads who were at fault for that have held their hands up, to be fair to them. Um, and, and we just rectify it for, for next week. But it was disappointing. It set us back. Um, it, it played a massive part in regards to the belief in, in the first 45 minutes. Um, but thankfully, we, we rectified it in the second half. Obviously, Jimmy Ward got the... Uh the equaliser and it seemed from that moment on it was it was one-way traffic yeah so we've, we've been in a similar situation um, at home against Cobb Alvis and unfortunately they went up the other end um, last minute and winners scored and, and won a game 2-1 um, so, so it's good to see that we've learned from that we managed that situation well uh, we managed the emotions well which is important um, and we, we've gone and ultimately gone and delivered which is what the boys were told before the game it's these next few weeks are very very important for ourselves and, and the club so yeah it was a good second half performance it looked like Luke Dugmore had won the game well he did in essence he really he has as uh, well. it's crept into the far <laughs> corner not the greatest it but then it seems that O'Dane has stole his thunder somewhat <laughs> yeah it's a great finish uh, did he mean it? He's saying he did. Um, I, I'm unsure myself, but it's a great finish. We've we've got a lot of quality. We have got a lot of quality, and the boys. It's starting to gel. It's starting to come together. Our start of the season wasn't good enough. Uh, we're open and honest about that. Um, but it's starting to come together. The lads are starting to believe. Um, there's some very good sides in this division. Noel, Covalve, uh, Cov Rangers, um, Cadbury. Um, Sutton, there's some very, very good size in this division, so nothing's done just yet, but we're building a bit of momentum and we're coming hard to beat, so let's see see where we are come April. April. Yeah, because just on the, the run of form now, one in, lost one of your last ten in all competitions, lost one of your last nine in the league, and Tony was saying that the Kenilworth game was one of those games where the lads had to dig in and it's the type of game where you, where you have to come away with three points if you want to challenge. Yeah. The lads have had to dig in again today, so that must be pleasing as you as boss to see that character. Yeah, that, that's, that's the key word, character. Um, the group are showing a real belief at this moment in time, whether it's training, whether it's in games, that, that there's a group of winners in that dressing room and it's just trying to make sure they tick and tick at the bright moments. We're not going to have every single game our own way because, like I said, there's quality in this division, a lot of it. Hampton, for example, are a very good side. And the two guys that run Hampton, top, top blokes as well. So it's never going to be easy, but at this moment in time, momentum's in our favour. These things happen when you're riding the wave. Um, so a lot of long may that continue.